This Five on Your Side Sports Report is sponsored by Telly Tire and Auto Centers, driving your way since 1942. Well, there wasn't a whole lot to criticize for City SC in their first year of existence. But if you wanted to pick one thing, perhaps it was their record on the road. Last year, they went 6-8-3 and three away from City Park. They started this year's MLS schedule with a draw in Austin and looked for their first road win tonight in L.A. against the Galaxy. A little bit different look for Bradley Carnell's team tonight in L.A. No Edward Leuven or Tim Parker. Bad start, too. Galaxy get on the board in just the third minute of this game. But City is going to respond. Thomas Ostrak gets past the L.A. defense and sends it home for the equalizer. What a goal. And that is where we stand right now. It's knotted at one. Well, tonight's Blues and Wild game had everything. A superb Jake Neighbors and Jordan Cairo connection for a power play goal. Jordan Bennington standing on his head again. And even a great scrap from the Aussie, Nathan Walker. The crowd was absolutely on fire tonight. And I said this game had everything. That means we went into a shootout tied at two. Like he has so many times this year, Binner comes through. Blues win 3-2, to their third win in a row. You know, we're just coming together as a team right now, and you know, we're, we're playing hard, we're working for each other. You know, everyone's going right now, so we just want to continue to build that and keep it going. Like I said, you know, these are big games coming up, so it feels like playoffs right now. It's like every all these two points, they all matter. You know, we're trying to get into the playoffs. It's a tight playoff race, and you know, I mean, they're right there with us, so. There were three state championship basketball games played in Columbia today on the high school level. Of the six teams competing, five were from St. Louis. And of the 12 total championships up for grab in the six Missouri classes, St. Louis teams won half of them. Not too shabby. Let's check out today's action. Cardinal Ritter and Chaminade in the class six final. This was a great game. Ritter up two right here. Now Sean Davis going to make it a four point lead to go into the fourth. Chaminade going to stay close. Ben Winker with a dunk. Five-point game with six left. But the Lions were going to pull away. Look at this emphatic slam from Quinton Parker. That is a grown man dunk right there. Ritter wins 52-42. to Keeping track at home, that's now a football and boys basketball state title for the Lions this school year. Bashana Burroughs for the Class 4 title. Wolverines going for the 5 Pete and Nasir Binion showed up. 25 points, some crazy highlights in his final high school game. Bashan was dunking all over the place in Columbia today. Jordan Richard slams and Dehirio McCaskill jams. Bashan wins 68 to 37 for their fifth state title in a row. It's coach Tony Irons' seventh state title in his illustrious career. An emotional incarnate word team trying to win their seventh straight title, of course. This one without head coach Dan Rolfus after his medical emergency last night. Kickapoo was the class six opponent. On the court, it was the same old dominant red knight. You saw Peyton Hill with a tough finish. Then it's Kalen Janes. That's good for three. And then Nevaeh Caffey, impressive drive for two of her own. Incarnate wins 53-43, to their seventh championship in a row. Lots of tears, lots of hugs, and lots of support for the Red Knights. Yeah, we were more motivated for than ever, especially going into this game. We have a lot to play for, each other, coach, um, our whole program. Um, and it's amazing to see all the, the support that we get. Um, and it really just, it really got our energy going in the beginning. It was a Matt Carpenter show as the Cardinals took on the Nats today. First, check out this great catch in foul territory. He's going to sacrifice the body for this one. Oh! Then, of course, he's going to come up and rope an opposite field. RBI double. Two hits for Carp today. That raises his spring OPS over 1,000. Cardinals beat the Nats 8-5. to five. And I didn't even have time to tell you that Illinois beat Nebraska. Oh, yeah. They're going to play for the Big Ten Tourney Championship oh. tomorrow. Terrence Shannon Jr., 40 points. That doesn't happen. A lot of eyes on that one. Thank you, my friend. And thank you. Have a good one.